there were times when I could not speak. Like, I would think I'm talking very loud. You'd be sitting right here in front of me. Like, I can't hear you. Today on Battlebox Entertainment, we are interviewing Zara Gretzi. Yes, she's Margaret, Mary, Toyin, Joseph, and she's been talking about a journey so far. So I started in 2006, and then at that point I was like, I can't do this. But then within a little while, everything just started to pop. I honestly don't remember everybody. I've worked with LD, The Dawn, and um, Kino Kenneth. I did a song with Whiskey and Mist. That was really good. Let the music play. And um, I also worked with Olamide and Adol. That was really dope. Nigeria Hill. I would talk about it. Um, all right. I was diagnosed what, a year, about a year ago, with multiple sclerosis, which is pretty much like multiple scarring, like in the brain and the spine. And if something's affecting your brain and your spine, it affects the rest of your body. It affects all of you, pretty much. But um, I was diagnosed a year ago, but it started when I was four years old. We just were not aware of what it was. So how has this affected you, your career, your life? Oh, my life. Let's start with my life first. How has it affected my life? Mm, first, it made me cut off my dada because Pastor somebody, I will not say his name, I will not say what church, said, you cut off your dreads, you'll be healed. I said, no, that is not true. My mother was complaining, shouting at me all the way to the house. And I went back to her. I said, Samson and Delilah, she cut off his locks. He says it in the Bible. Me, I do not remember. It's God that put it inside my head. And he got worse. And like that too, Christmas, I cut my head. I told her, Merry Christmas. And before I knew it, I was in the hospital again. No, things got really bad. And then I ended up in the hospital. What are the physical and psychological symptoms of MS? Seeing as it started since I was little, there's a lot of pain. There's usually a lot of head pain. I can't just say headache, because headache, you just think, ah, oh, we for me. No, sometimes it's like your whole head just starts to, like, burn. And then, so there's, like, the headaches, the pain, the body aches, your legs, because somehow you just get weak and you can't really like walk or talk. There are times when I could not speak. Like, I would think I'm talking very loud. You'd be sitting right here in front of me, like, I can't hear you. And um, ears, sometimes they get really strange. And memory. I forget a lot. You could be my mother sitting here, you look at and I'll look at you, why? My life is my music, my life is my work, acting, and I want to get back in the game. Like, I want to keep recording. I want to get back into acting, I want to get back into radio, presenting, TV, anything. It's like, that's where I'm happy. And happiness is like, it's good medicine. I met somebody, he's in America, and he's Yoruba, and I senior him. And he already told me he wants to marry me, but at the same time, I'm just like, yeah, wasting time. It's only been eight months, so it's still too soon to be trying to enter the marriage. I'm the person, you know, they wait for person, but I will wait for you. May and you, we are meant to be. I will wait for you. You're six, six, six. No one can love you like I do. A book or cool. No one can treat you like I do. A book or cool. A book or cool. A book or a book or a book yeah, yeah, yeah. Long story, long story. <laughs> <laughs> no tripping. You heard she's taking eight months gone. Mm. Do not trip. Ola I don't have two husbands for her. Ola, let me. Ola, let me. Please come and fight out. Don't fight me. Uh, let me fight out. <laughs>